hello. So, um, ignore how I look right now, but we just moved in and um, we did a walkthrough earlier today where it was completely empty and I wanted to film this before the light just went off before I forgot before we moved a bunch of stuff in and it wasn't empty anymore so pretty much empty uh house tour so let's go through okay so this is the entryway um there we go this is camera This is the mudroom. This is Matt trying to figure out the doorknobs. We're switching the locks because we had locks to like two doors in the house, right? Two doors? That one? Or one? I don't even know. We only had a key to two. We only had a key to two doors. So this lock we didn't have a key for. And then the front, how, front of the house we didn't have a lock for so we got we got new doorknobs from home depot and we're changing those and that's the first project we're doing um and then let's see this is the garage and this was empty earlier today but we've got like maybe half or a third of our stuff all packed away um and put in the garage for now but yeah, so this is the garage. It's got a little ramp here. It's really cool. Um, and then this is the garage. No. That's the garage opener. Okay. So yeah, that's cool. Um, oh my god, we have our own house. This is so cool. Anyways, so we're still figuring out what light switch goes to what. Also, sorry this is a little dark. But, um... This is the sunroom, and we have not one, not two, but, wait, five? One, two, three, four, five. Screen, uh, like sliding glass doors. So that is neat. Three that go outside to the back, um to the backyard and to the deck and then one that goes into the mudroom and one that goes into what will be matt's office this is our coffee table that we're gonna have it's just sitting there for now um also sorry this isn't completely empty i wanted to do it completely empty but i kind of forgot and there were people here so yeah okay um then moving on, we've got some Dutch doors here. So let me see if I can figure out. Yep, Dutch doors. Pretty neat. Never had Dutch doors before. So let's close that. We got our washer and dryer. And the previous owners left some uh, supplies and materials in these three cabinets. We're going to change these. Yep. And all the outlet covers are just, like, old, I don't know, weird designs. This doorknob, uh, doorbell-looking thing is to open and close the garage. And this is the kitchen. Oh, also, it's pretty echoey in here because it's so empty. Anyways, so, kitchen. This was built in the 50s, so it's got lots of, um, retro retro items like this oven uh is so old but i think it, it still works apparently so and then we've got these like uh, lights up here they're just kind of weird and look at this stove top this is so old and the control panel for it what I don't even know. So many buttons. This old microwave that doesn't work anymore. And they left their microwave. Um, 
um, and just, we actually have a decent amount of cabinet space, more than I thought. Countertop will change, uh, eventually. Backsplash is wallpaper right now, we're gonna change that. This, I don't know what's gonna go up here exactly, but something. And what's nice is there's lots of hooks like this to uh, hang plants. Or, you know, that's probably what I'm gonna do with those hooks. So, actually, that would be a nice area for plants. So, and there's, I don't know what that is for, but, yeah. And an example of lots of stuff is, we've got lots of stuff because we're moving in now. But just imagine a blank countertop. <laughs> but yeah, so this is our kitchen. This is the fridge. It hasn't been turned on. It's unplugged and it's very dirty. So, yikes. Um, and then we've also got like a pantry closet in here. And these are the names of the kids' height that lived here. And the latest one, I'm guessing it's the latest one, is 2017. So, yeah, we got 2002, 2009. Is that 2000? I think that's 2000. Um, oh, there's a 2017 right there. And then this one person's specific measurements. So that's interesting. Got some stickers. So we're probably gonna paint over that. But that's interesting. Kind of cool. Is that close? Also, all of the um, cabinet handles are like that. Just old like that. I don't know. But you have to like click it in to open it. Anyways, moving on. We've got the living room. I might do another video when it's actually like daytime and you can see but we were talking about just like knocking this wall down to make it open concept and more space however that would um take away a lot of cabinet space and here is an ironing board it's interesting uh, the wood is all very interesting i kind of like that lamp we got a fireplace and it is working. Last time I had a fireplace was when I was like nine. So that's lit. We got a big window. Love natural light. So pretty cool living room. Very echoey. Um, we got a singular chair. This is all our paint and cleaning supplies we got today to start working on the house. So we're gonna paint these walls a green color. This is, this is the color that we picked out for these walls. So, and then this color was for the sunroom I just showed you um, to touch it up and paint it again. This, I don't know if you can tell, but it's sort of got like a pinkish tinge. It's for the bathroom that I will show you in a second. And more hooks for hanging plants. And, um, or like sun catchers, I don't know. And then there's like this cute little shelf here. I like things like that because I've got all my cute little things that I want to put in places. So that's cool to have that. Top of the fireplace, mantle to put things. Um, I really like how open this space is. It won't be open for terribly much longer because we're going to get a very spacious sectional couch that will go right here. Um, so that'll take up most of this room and it'll be super comfy. So it'll be nice. Um, I don't know what's with this weird plastic casing, but yeah. Okay, bathroom. We've got these weird orb lights from the 70s. More wallpaper. 
but pinkish walls we're gonna stick with that i mean take the wallpaper off obviously um and i don't really like this countertop uh color either but you know we've got a lot of projects but some take priority over the others and we can't do everything right now we got a window in the bathroom oh by the way i don't know if you can tell but we overlook the lake. We've got a little bit of a lake view. So that's nice. Cabinet space in the bathroom. I get to have my very own bathroom for like the first time ever. So very nice, very excited. We don't have a bathtub, uh, which is unfortunate, but it is okay. We've got little um, sections for soap. So Matt and my soap. Um, we need to get soap dishes, so we don't really have space for any other shower products. We're gonna need to figure that out. Also, I mean, actually, I guess this is like just above my head. So I think this would actually, ooh, let's get some gunk in it. Nasty. Ideally, I would like a rain shower head, but it's okay. Matt is very tall. So he, like, this is way too short for him to be able to shower. So we're still figuring that out. Okay, moving on. We've got this closet in the hallway. This is where we're putting the litter box. So we're going to put it in the back here, and then we're going to put a little cat door on this door. So Linus and the other cat can roam freely in and out to use the litter box, and it will be... Kind of stowed away so the smell won't be as much of an issue. This is Matt's office that we have yet to have a door for. Um, so let's see. It's got a light switch. But oh, we had a spider friend up there. I think that's a spider at least. Got one nightlight and a mirror. He's got, like, one of the biggest closets in the house, actually. I think it is the biggest closet in the house. Um, and yes, I could have had this as my office. But I actually prefer the other office that I will show you in a second. Because it gets way more natural light um, in, like, earlier in the day. And um, this has some cabinet, um, some shelves. And it's basically a walk-in closet. You can't really tell because it's so dark out. So I apologize for that. But very spacious. And then this leads out to the sunroom. Isn't that so weird? Something else that's weird is we've got a window. This is the bedroom, which again, I will show you that room in a second. But <laughs> a bedroom in or a window inside kind of strange i want to make sure all these are locked because like it's so weird this just leads out to the outside so i don't want to i don't want to just have like people that can come in but yeah so that's that and then hall light yeah okay cabinet at the end of the hall your closet for linens, I suppose. And then this is the bedroom. Um, I just showed you this window that leads into the sunroom for whatever reason. Here, let's open it. Hi. So weird, but it is what it is. Um, and I, you know, I think I, oh, sorry, that was me beeping but i think i know why this window is here and it's because this is an extension of the house so it makes sense but still kind of weird i kind of like that it's still there a uh, closet we have a light switch once again which i don't know what this goes to because there are no overhead lights in any of the bedrooms we have this closet light and then we've got some shelves and we can hang some clothes in here. And it's got this weird pattern again that it had in the mudroom area. 
so that's that. And this is my office. It is significantly smaller than the other office, but I'm okay with it. I like the location better. And another thing is, it's also got a smaller closet, which actually this doesn't have a door either. I didn't really notice that before, but this has a shelf. I mean, yeah, a shelf and a light and it's got two uh, rods for some reason, but I can hang clothes or whatever. It's got a shower curtain in here for some reason, but yeah, so it's kind of small in here, but I don't know. It's fun getting a whole room to myself, which lots of people get for like their bedroom or whatever, but I'll have my bedroom with Matt and then I'll also have this room completely to myself so kind of exciting once again we have a light switch in here that seemingly leads to nothing so i'm not really sure about that but um yes we also have an attic that you can access through there however if you do try to access it through there it will just be insulation because the attic is weird right now but yeah, and you might have thought we were done, but we are not. There's a basement. So I will do that part later, but for now, that's what we're working with. And yeah, maybe when the counter is more cleared off and whatever, we painted a wall and such, I will update you guys, but yes. That's that. We're painting. We've got the drop cloth. And this is um, pre-painting. So, we are painting the walls right now in the living room. Um, I won't show it yet because I want to show it when it's completed but I'm taking a break right now to eat some pizza and so we're gonna get the living room done today and then hopefully paint the other rooms too hey so this is the living room we painted green so this is it completely empty because we're about to mop and then we're going to put our couch and table so yeah empty with the green walls what do you think i think the green goes really good against the wood color so yeah i like it i like it a lot so we're hitting some snags in our uh, in our house projects right now. Um, so this thing just came off while Matt was trying to turn on the light, <laughs> and then something else. Oh, there's no light in here. But um, this closet door is kind of giving us a run for its money because. It won't close all the way because the floor, the floor is done in here, by the way. Can't really tell because there's no light in here. We don't have any overhead lights. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the door won't close all the way. And it kind of broke. So, we're figuring it out. We're, we're trying to. So, we're kind of more set up now. Um, I'm laying in the bed that we've now put in the room um and let me just show you this is the current state of the bedroom right now the floors are finished and we've just got our bed and that's about it our closet this is dirty so i need to clean it um but yeah, and we've got new bedding. I got new bedding in this Amazon box here, but these sheets are kind of dirty, so 
We figured we don't really want to put new bedding on old sheets, so we're just going to use our old bedding for now until we figure that out. But yeah. So I haven't updated in a while, but um, we have gotten quite a lot of bit more done. And this is Linus. He's in the new house now. Being a little cutie. I think this is his favorite room. Besides the bedroom. Also, it's like, I bought him a whole cat tree and a scratching post. And he decides to use the rug as his scratching post. But that's fine because we're taking up the rug anyways, so. Yeah. But now I'm going to take him for a walk. And, um... I'm going to unbox some Amazon packages too, so might as well film a little bit of that. I just love getting packages, I guess. Okay. This is the sunroom, still not done. It was already this wall color when we moved in. Okay, so this is for Linus. It is a laser pointer thingy, my bobber. And then, let's see. Let's open this one. Linus, it's like a little tunnel thing for him. This is a bird feeder for the window. For Linus as well. For the birds, but so Linus can stare at them. Ooh, and then these are his cat doors so that he can come in and out of the bedroom and search. But anyways, that's it.